I always wanted to be either a chef or a doctor. And uh, I went to visit a hospital with an intern that went to my church when I was about 15 years old. And I spent a morning with him and that sealed it for me. For some reason, it just felt like it was the right thing to do. So, you know, throughout the college career and all those things, we pursued medicine from there. I did emergency medicine, internal medicine. So when I first came out of residency, I was an ER doc here at this facility. And uh, I spent eight years here until I had my motorcycle wreck, which completely changed the course of our life. And we came up with some ideas, you know, you can go back to school for intensive care or pulmonology. But then we also had a, a, a really strong need for cardiology in the area. And that was actually the decision. The decision was made then because it would make the highest impact over the longest period of time for our community. We see patients on an outpatient basis through our clinic. We do all kinds of cardiac testing, be it stress testing, echocardiograms, which are ultrasounds of the heart. We do EKGs, we do procedures in the cath lab, all kinds of things. Plus, we also cover the inpatient setting, which is anyone that's hospitalized with a heart problem we're here to help with. So it's a, it's a, it's a varied practice, but the nice thing is it's all in one contained facility so the cardiac center where all the inpatients are is right above our heads. So all I have to do is get on the elevator, go upstairs, and I'm with my inpatients. I think one of the best things about being a cardiologist in our system is the trust that we build with our patients as well as the other physicians that work here. And when I get a phone call with someone asking a question, they can trust me to give them my best answer, and I can trust them to continually push me to excellence in this arena. So my philosophy of care here is to treat everybody like family. When someone comes in, I often tell people who are questioning the decisions that I'm making, I say, you know, this is, if, if you were my mother, this is how I would treat you. If you were my brother, I would do this for you. And I'm totally honest when I say that. When we all live together and we all exist together in the same community, we're all part of the same community. And that makes a bond that you don't have in a larger situation such as Chicago or New York when the patient is potentially a number. And I think that really spurs the physicians to care for people at a deeper level potentially.